The question is, for aluminium, the heat capacity at constant volume CV at 30K is this. And the Debye temperature is 375 Kelvin. Estimate specific heat CV at two temperatures here. The first one is 50K. The second one is at 25K. So you know that the first one, 50K, is definitely less than the Debye temperature. So you know that you have to use the equation CV equals to a t to the power of 3. So this will be the equation for the sec for the first part. And for the second part, the equation that you have to use is CV equals to 3 R. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to work out what is A, the constant. So you know that given to you is um, a temperature 30K and also given to you the CV. So you can calculate your, your constant A. So substitute all the values given, 0 0.81 joules per mole Kelvin. And then T to the power of 3, you will use this 30 Kelvin. So you will get your A. And then when you got your A, you just substitute in this equation and you know this is your A that you calculated from here. And this is your 50K, which is from here. And you will get 3.75 joules per mole Kelvin for the answer in A. Alright, so this is the solution for the second part. You know that this 4 to 5 Kelvin is definitely more than the Debye temperature. So you need to use this formula, CV equals to 3R. So you make a clay, your 3, and this is just simply your gas constant. So this will be your answer because you know that more than the Debye temperature, the um, CV is independent of your temperature. And converting this to specific heat, you get this. All right, next, we call this thermal expansion. So what is it actually? So usually solid materials, they will expand upon heating and they will contract upon cooling. So that is common sense. I'm sure that uh, you guys can relate to that. And the change in the length, the change in the length. So let's say this is the original length of your material. And after heat is applied, there will be an increase in the temperature. Uh, so your material will expand uh, and elongate up to this length. And the change in the length with temperature for a solid material can be expressed using this formula. And this one here, the alpha L is, we call it linear coefficient of thermal expansion and the units is reciprocal of temperature all right the units of thermal expansion coefficient is the reciprocal of temperature and what is it actually it is a property this is a property that indicates the extent to which um, a material expands upon heating all right how how much the material will expand upon a certain heat treatment okay so this formula can be simplified lah, and, uh, to this formula so this is just the comparison of the coefficient of thermal expansion um, among ceramics metals and polymers and above all polymer have larger thermal expansion coefficient because of their weak secondary bonds because their bonds is weak so they have larger thermal expansion so meaning when um, they are applied to any heat increment or heat treatment they will expand even more compared to metals and ceramics